Jamar Chase will finish as the wide receiver one in fantasy football in 2024, and here's why. The Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, LSU turned Cincinnati connection looked great in Chase's rookie season, but why hasn't he lived up to that rookie season? Context says that these two have missed time the last two seasons. Joe Burrow only played in 10 games in 2023, Jamar Chase only in 12 games for 2022. So I wanted to look at the games that they actually played together the last three seasons, and it's a 38-game sample size. Here's what I found. Through those 38 games, Jamar Chase averages with Joe Burrow 9.58 targets, 6.24 receptions, 87.05 receiving yards, 13.82 yards per catch, 0.74 receiving touchdowns, and 19.27 fantasy points. So looking at some percentages when it comes to Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase, Chase has earned 10 plus targets in 47.37% of those 38 games. Finished with 100 plus receiving yards in 34.21% of those games. Scored a receiving touchdown in 52.53% of those games. And scored 20 plus fantasy points in 39.47% of those games. Six games with multiple receiving touchdowns, two games with three receiving touchdowns, 10 games with 120 plus receiving yards, four games with 150 plus receiving yards, two with 200 plus receiving yards. 11 games of 25 plus fantasy points, 5 games with 30 plus fantasy points, 2 games with 50 plus fantasy points. So looking at the averages, very solid for Jamar Chase in production and fantasy point translation. Looking at the upside, it's very evident. So check the boxes here. Jamar Chase has a top 5 quarterback talent in the league that he has established a connection with back in college. Cincinnati is a high passing volume offense, and it can climb in 2024. Look at this trend. 2021, 32.5 passing attempts per game by Joe Burrow, 35.9 in 2022, and 36.5 in 2023. And their running back room is fairly weak. I think Chase has the talent, the quarterback play, and the volume to lead the league in receiving yards. This guy can like break records in that department, in my opinion. He also has showed us unbelievable touchdown upside through his NFL career. That was extremely evident through the data. And I think he's a candidate to have massive fantasy football weeks every single week. That can lead to averaging a high amount of points per game, which leads to being the wide receiver one. So that is why.